Alright everybody, our team is back. You ready to find out what's up in this party? Let's do it. Uh, we'll do, uh, we'll try to get around 15 minutes. Uh, USSR girl and girl hit me on back chasing each other. We're both there. That was proper grammatical sentence. So this is Chase. She, uh, we're going to call her Chase. We're going to call her CCCP. And the other girl is Slavia. There's some kind of game they're playing with names. I don't know. <laughs> Julian, enough running. I'll tell everything to Olga. <laughs> Aye aye, Capitan. <laughs> I decided not to question Slavia, <laughs> or what was going on with the local residents. Better meet with this mysterious Olga Dmitrievna first. I got this, Olga Dmitrievna. Sounds like she's the boss around here. We walked past rows of almost identical caverns, some of which looked like fat beer barrels, others looked like household shits. Finally, Slavia stopped in front of a smallish one-story cabin. This cabin was pretty story. <laughs> English, this isn't Ruski words. It looked like an artist painting, probably because it was. It chipping here and there with age, sparkling in sun, window shutters, slightly ajar. Eh, it was alright. Very triangular though, too much for Martium. It seemed as if Ramshuttle Hut was drowning in a storm of purple silk and lilacs. What are you standing around for? Let's go! Hey, Slavia snapped me out of my daydreaming. <laughs> Snip. <laughs> Voice. And stop teasing Lena already. Oh god! That actually spooked me a little bit. <sighs> that is not something to watch after you just finish Five Nights at Freddy's 3. Eh, hey, Rina? You can't scare Artyom, I've seen worse. I've seen demons, and... Oh... <laughs> Some people call them demons, I call them bitches. It sounds like there's somebody inside, yes! Indeed, a moment later, the door swung open, Nuliano ran out and dashed past with the same mischievous grin. Oh, CCCP, the pink toko came out next! Don't let that bother you, Lena. So her name is Lena. A <laughs> mental note for our team. <laughs> Gotta be thankful it's not Rina at least. Why? <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> but I don't... <laughs> Instead of finishing her sentence, she pressed it quickly headed towards the square. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> for some reason, I felt like turning and following her with my eyes, but Slavia said, Come. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Slavia, wait. That's a perfect timing for the sound to cut out. You gotta buy me dinner first, at least. Who the fuck is this a picture of? <laughs> hmm, that painting doing anything for you? <laughs> we entered the cabin. <laughs> this is not Artyom style cabin. Instead, it looked similar to what I imagined. Two beds, the table, a couple of chairs, similar carpet on floor, wardrobe. Nothing special, but at the same time it felt home-like and cozy. Although the room was almost in perfect triangular shape. This- Oh, this is Illuminati Soviet Cyclopsionia. I understand everything now. Uh, not more disorderly than my own flat. Another person that's a live human being, maybe. A girl standing near window appeared to be about 25 years old. Eh. Eh. It's eh, eh, within my range. Nature had obviously gifted her with a pretty face and a good body. Artyom, they've all got the. Why am I talking to the main character with his own accent? Artyom, they've all got the same fucking body. <laughs> They're all the same thing. Well, I mean, at least it's not like Sakura's spirit where they're literally. Just the same drawing. Eh, at least you can be happy in this pandemonium. The locals are pretty beautiful, as all Soviets are. <laughs> hey, camp leader. Oh, so this is Olga. You're finally here. Excellent. What is with this music? Yep, that's Olga. Hey, nice to meet you. I am Artyom. I decided to use my real name. Huh? <laughs> she came in closer. Stay back. Artyom was not ready for you yet. We've been expecting you. No, not Artyom. Yes, of course. When does the next bus come? Because I... Why do you need it? 
Eh, why, why do I need it, Artyom? I don't know. Guess I shouldn't ask direct questions here. People here react to them quite unlike how I would prefer. Normally. <laughs> I doubt I get any answers anyway. Eh, no reason. Just curious, I guess, maybe. Eh, by the way, where are we exactly? Mailing address, I mean... I, I don't, don't, you don't need to tell me the name of the place, I just want to know the mailing address so I can send a get well soon card to myself. <laughs> I just wanted to say, oh, oh, I'm hitting the mark too close here, you guys, I gotta, I gotta stop predicting what he's gonna say. <laughs> uh, oh, for some reason I had a desperate idea that if I played along I would find something out. <laughs> oh, your parents just called half an hour ago, they sent their regards to you. Uh, they did surprise that Artyom has parents. <laughs> Can I call them? No. Okay. <laughs> she gave me a sweet spontaneous smile. Can I call my parents? Wait. <laughs> oh, your parents called earlier. They said that they wanted you to have a good time and stuff. Oh, cool. Can I call them back, please? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was the exchange that just happened. Why not? <laughs> we don't have a phone here. There's no phones in Soviet Cyclopsionia. Oh. Okay. Eh, how, how, how can my parents make a call here if there's no phone? Oh, I've just come back from the district central town. I talked with them there. Uh, district? I don't like where this is going. I, uh, can, I, can, I, can I get to the town? No. Okay. She kept the same smile. Why not? Because <laughs> the next bus comes in a week. Well, this sucks for Artyom. I would not get any answers here. And all this time, Slavia was standing next to me and seeming to find nothing odd in our conversation whatsoever. <laughs> we need to find a uniform for you! Oh no! Artyom does not want to be put in those pioneer shorts or wear a ridiculous red neckerchief. I'd rather wear the winter clothes in summer, so thank you. <laughs> They're just looking at me when I'm wearing this really big... I actually have next to me, I have a rabbit fur hat and I have like a fur coat. Well, not fur, it's just a big fluffy coat with some faux fur on the hood, but it's like, I'm imagining this is what he's wearing. <laughs> right to you, I'll be off then, and you can get yourself acquainted with the camp. Don't forget to come to dinner in the evening. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> Having said that, she walked out of the cavern. Cavern? Cabin. He walked out of the cabin. Artyom, you're losing it. Come on, get it together, man. It's only, we're eight minutes in, we're like halfway there, you still got halfway to go. This is, guys, this is not the party that Artyom thought he was going to be getting. A walk is not the right word. She rushed out. So I ended up alone with Slavia. No. I must go, got things to do. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> well, that was fast. <laughs> Take a walk, look around the camp a bit. See you in the evening. Goodbye. If there's no threat to catch, or if there's no threat or catch to this reality, as embodied by Slavia, it becomes more appealing. I guess that made sense to Soviets. Uh, for first time today, I realized it was awfully hot in here. Oh god. My winter clothes were probably to blame for that, so I took them off. Hey, I was now wearing only the shirt. <laughs> just a shirt. Artyom, just in a shirt. Much better. <laughs> this clothing better. Much better. Ah, uh, hey. <laughs> All I could do was follow their advice and look around the camp with just a shirt. I'm sure all of the pioneers would appreciate that. I'll try to find something out in the meantime. Might as well enjoy this fake reality while it lasts, yay! Residential district. I saw a pioneer guy! Oh, person, dude! Oh, you look like uh, Horatio Nelson. And it was this pioneer, <laughs> it really was a pioneer guy, not a pioneer girl. Apparently there were men even in this kingdom of Amazons. <laughs> what is this music? <laughs> this is like, it's like sort of, it's like sort of South American Celtic, like <laughs> mashup. <laughs> Alright, I'll do this guy's voice. Hello, you're new here. You must be Samen, right? Oh no, dude, you're Artyom. Yes, how do you do? Bro, everyone already knows. I'm Electronic. That's my DJ name. You know, the real one? You can call me that. Yeah. Electronic. 
Electronic was a robotic character appearing in popular Soviet film and book series. He looked like an exact copy of a school kid called Sergei Shizikov. <laughs> Electronic. The real one. <laughs> Things are going from crazy to completely insane. Well, maybe it looks like there's going to be a party after all. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Uliana also calls me Chessy. <laughs> Chessy? I'm not calling it cheesy, it's Chessy. A toast with mushrooms? Hey, Artyom make joke. Then it wasn't okay. Or that good. It's because my last game is Chessico. <laughs> oh wait, that was... How did I guess that? It's because my last name is Chessico. Yeah, I see. Yeah, sorry for taking the words out of your head. I guess Artyom is psychic. You know what? That's totally all fine in this reality, man. Let me tell you something else. So, let me show you around! Except it is all for us, it would have taken much longer to get the lonely place alone. Yeah, fine, let's go. Yeah, we ended up in the square again. Big surprise. I'm sure they could have only drawn so many pictures. As if this place... As if this was all there was to this camp. Exactly. Lena was sitting on one of the benches, reading some book. <laughs> not like... Now it's like, oh, she's reading some book. Like... <laughs> she's reading, like, some of a book. Is how I want to interpret this. It's like, yes, I was, uh, I took the day off yesterday. I was just sitting at home reading some book. <laughs> Electronic confidently approached her. Whoa. Hello, Lena. Meet the new guy, Archim. He started briskly. Hello. Well, you could say we've already met in a way, but I didn't know to guess your name. Uh, yes. She looked away from the book for a moment, glanced at me, blushed, and went back to reading, as if not noticing that we were there at all. <laughs> Alright, let's get on. I was the first surprised that meeting this girl, like, quotes meeting, was reduced to a couple of words. But then again, I am Artyom. What else should I expect? Electronics' vigorous activity did not fit well with Lena's shyness. Let's go. Next, we came to a building which I instantly identified as Canteen. This is where we get food. And this here is... I know, this is where you consume organic food! Fuck, I keep predicting the lines. Yeah, something like that, I don't know, man. On the canteen's porch stood, the unfriendly girl hit me on the bick earlier. At sight of her, my joking mood vanished in blink of eye. Because really, Artyom, I, I, I you do not have joking mood. Really, now is not the best time to be pulling this guy's leg, even though he is quite hilarious. <laughs> Dude, this guy's the best, I love him. First, need to figure out what here, at least where I am. Hey, over there, that's Alicia Dvachis- Hold on, this is gonna take me a second. What the fuck happened to his face? Okay. Alicia Dv- <laughs> Dvachiskaya. <laughs> Alicia Dvachiskaya. <laughs> Just be careful around her. He spoke in a whisper. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> Don't ever risk calling her Davashek, cause she doesn't like that. Dva means two in Russian. The whole nickname sounds exactly like Tooch. What? Tooch? Like to a reference to the late Tooch.ru anonymous image board. So I guess that's like the, the Russian 4chan? I don't... man... I'm not rushing enough for this game. Oh god. What did you say? What did you call me? She must have heard him. In the blink of an eye, Alicia jumped down from the porch and dashed toward us. Alright, you'll manage from here onwards. I'm gonna take off, man. <laughs> Sorry to jet, but I'm in a hurry. The electronic took to his heels. Goodbye. Run after him, do nothing. Well, as Artyom, we're not going to do anything. Hello. Hello, Diva Chef. How are you doing today? Alisa, running past, stopped for a moment and growled. I'll deal with you later. Deal with me? What Artyom do? <laughs> Hector is trying to be friendly, so I forced guilty smile to my words. What am I guilty of? She made no reply and carried down chasing electronic. Wow, that that metal right there, really, really nailing it. It looks like I'll have to kill time alone waiting for dinner. Well, I decided to go east. So what's gonna happen when we go east, you guys? I guess we'll find out next time. So, at least in the direction where east would be in my world, they're different easts. 
east is now north north is south south is west and west is east so it's re it really is west soon after i found myself near a football pitch a game was in full swing there i guess watching it wouldn't do any harm <laughs> how much more of this can you take nick how much <laughs> oh my throat's hurting from this accent <clears throat> In my childhood and teen years, I was not the bad soccer player myself. Much like myself, I did play soccer for 13 years. I did sustain few injuries. Much like myself. <laughs> Kids of different ages were running around on the pitch. I could see a boy about 10, girl about 14. Sounds like even match. Yeah. Hey, that is Uliana. Oh, she plays the football. <laughs> it was so surprising. She seems like the restless one, after all. So I was standing quite far from the pitch. Okay, pitch? Pitch? It's a field? Pitch? It's a it's a field! You play it on a field! Not not a pitch. Oh she noticed me. Hey you! What's up, Triple CP? Leanna shouted. Wanna play? I didn't know how to answer. On one hand, running around for ten minutes is no big deal. On the other hand, I am wrong all the time. <laughs> But in any case, my attire was not suitable for this weather. After all, Artyom only had on the shirt. Oh boy. Playing barefoot without jeans would be unethical? Pfft, come on. You're worried about sweating in jeans like playing soccer? Please, I ran my fastest mile wearing jeans, honestly. I wore jeans and Uggs, and that was my fastest mile. It was like seven something. Yeah, maybe another time, alright? I shouted in response, turned around and walked back. Maybe another time, alright? Yes, okay, goodbye. As far as really only screams about my pants or about me being a pansy or something like that. I don't know, you decide. This is crazy music they're coming up with here. Evening was falling, making me feel tired and empty after a day wasted with no real purpose. Wow, that's real, man. I'm so sorry. Meeting like six different people is not a waste of a day. Meeting six different people is never a waste of a day. You never know who's gonna be a f what, the, just something about strangers or just friends you haven't met yet. So you gotta talk to people and be friendly. Yeah, yeah, that's the moral of the story. I came back to the square, sat down on the bench, gave an exhausted sigh. I better sit there and wait for dinner. After all, it's easier to search for answers when you're not hungry. They don't give food to people, right? Uh, I wasn't paying attention. They did definitely tell you that before, Archim, that you can go to get dinner at night. Anyway, I feel hungry now, and I don't really care what's happening to me. Eh, could great, pe could great people also be affected like this? No. How did Spartacus start slave uprising in ancient times? What is wrong with you, Artyom? What is wrong with you? Uh-oh. Is it party time? It must be the party time! I headed towards the party room where the party surely was. <laughs> Olga Dmitrievna was there, standing on the porch. Hello. I stopped and looked at her closely as if expecting something. She looked back at me for a while, but the last came closer. Hello. Artyom, what are you waiting for? Come in already! It's your party! I guess nothing can go bad if I go with her, right? Yeah, my stomach backed me up here. I was pretty hungry. Actually- OH! PEOPLE- OH MY GOSH! This is a visual novel where they actually drew a crowd of people! Alright. Okay. They're there and they exist and we don't have to use our imaginations here. Wow, this is crazy. Alright, we're gonna pick up this party next time and see what's actually going on. The two of us went inside, we're gonna see what Olga has to say, or what whoever has to say, who else we're gonna meet here, I don't know, you decide. Catch you guys next time, it's Soviet summer camp. I will see you later, comrades. Goodbye.